Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui à Adobe, on a une invité très spéciale. Euh, il va être notre nouveau euh, porte-parole. Donc, je vais le laisser interviewer, Jacob. Bienvenue à Adobe. Merci beaucoup, c'est un plaisir d'être ici. Ça fait beaucoup de plaisir de t'avoir parmi nous aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, si tu voulais nous en parler un petit peu à propos de toi, euh, un petit peu de c'est quoi ton background Oui, absolument. Euh, mon nom, c'est Jacob Tierney, je suis de Montréal, puis je travaille dans l'industrie du cinéma comme réalisateur, comme écrivain, puis comme comédien aussi. J'ai directé et écrit deux films à Montréal, un appelé The Trotsky et un appelé Good Neighbors. Um, and I've been acting since I was a kid, uh, a lot here and a lot of other places too. Um, uh, I did a, a film with our other porte-parole called French Immersion with Karine Valence uh, that we acted in together. Um, and some people in Quebec might know I was on the first two years of What the Tatao. Uh, oh, that's really cool. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, so tell me, when you started, do you have like a mentor? I started really young. I started working when I was six years old. So um, the, the, the mentor that I would say that I've had my entire career has been my father, who also works in the film business and who's a producer. Um, and he was always uh, he was always incredibly supportive of me. Um, and because we work in the same field, he could always help me and kind of guide me. But when you're that young, it's not really like a kind of everybody's your your mentor when you're sure. when you're a kid that age. You have everything to learn. Um, and because I loved working so much, it was a great. What was great about it was that on different projects, different crew members or cast members or a whole variety of people would teach me different aspects of how films got made and what they did technically. So I would have, you know, the sound guy explain to me how he did sound or the lighting oh, okay. people explain to me how they do lighting. And so I was very lucky uh, that I worked with a lot of generous people um, who would explain their work to me. And I was curious because I was young. Um, but definitely my, I would say my father would be my, the, the most consistent mentor that I've had in my career. That's really nice. Like a lot of family support. I yeah, it's great. Awesome. Uh, so, how do you develop like this kind of um, cinematographic uh, abilities, or like, do you went to school? I did not go to school. Um, I worked. That was really it. I grew up on sets. Um, you know, by the time I was uh, 18, I'd acted in like 35, 40 movies and been a regular on four or five different TV shows, and so I had a lot of experience. And um, what I did was I just started writing. I, I, I always loved to write, and I started writing scripts. And then when I was 23, I made my first film. Um, and that's, I, I, so I didn't go to school. I, I just studied, I guess through experience would be the way that I, I learned. Is there a particular project that has a special place in your heart? Uh, there's, a, there's a lot that do. Um, you know, there, there's, I mean, my films that I've, I've, I've directed four films, they all have a particular place in my heart. Um, And then different movies that I did at different times in my life expanded my my sensibilities and my knowledge and um, you know to go from being someone qui fait ça comme du travail qui fait ça comme un boulot mais pas un boulot parce que j'étais trop jeune mais mais c'était quand même du travail euh, où ton jeu quand t'es jeune et comédien c'est d'être naturel c'est d'être euh, le plus normal possible juste être un, un, un tu écoutes tu parles mais c'est juste tu dois être très très naturel puis à un moment donné, on te demande de composer des personnages, puis on ajoute des trucs comme genre des accents, ou es, maintenant tu viens, euh, tu habites pendant la Deuxième Guerre mondiale, puis euh, juste d'autres trucs. Alors, il y avait un film en particulier que j'ai fait quand j'avais 14 ans, qui m'a beaucoup influencé. Euh, j'ai travaillé avec une comédienne américaine qui s'appelle Jenna Rollins, qui est une, une, grande, une des plus grandes comédiennes américaines de son époque. Uh, she's winning a, an honorary Oscar this year, which is very cool, the, the Thalberg nice. Award. And she taught me a lot about movies. Um, the director of that film, a British director named Terence Davies, taught me a lot as well. That was a, a very important film for me the summer I, that I was 14 um, in Georgia. And it was also a time when I had to change my idea of what acting was for me because I had to do, an, again, I had to do an accent and I had to do all kinds of different, uh, different stuff that I'd never done before. And I loved it. It made me, you know, kind of expanded my brain even more uh, into what was possible to accomplish with art. That's really cool. Well, you're talking a lot of um, how you were like a child actor. And this is a question that is more related to love. Uh, in those days, like we have seen child actors that suffer through that show business and all that kind of maybe drug abuse or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, were you inflicted? Like, do you have problems with violence when you were younger? I did not have a problem with violence when I was young. I, I, uh, yeah, I was very fortunate. Um, I saw a lot of it though. I certainly 
have a lot of friends that did not make it out of being a child actor who uh, succumbed usually to drugs, um, drugs and alcohol, um, but whose lives went a completely different way than they could have or maybe should have. Um, it, it's, a, it's a tough, it can be very tough uh, on kids, that business. Uh, a lot is required of you, you work very hard and you make money, which can be a very dangerous thing for young people to have too much money that they don't and too much time on their hands they don't want to do with. And the nature of being an actor involves a lot of paying attention to superficial stuff, the way you look, the way you, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure um, put on uh, young people. And I don't, I honestly don't know, it's hard to predict who makes it out and who doesn't. Um, but I definitely have seen a lot of people not make it out. Part of the reason that I, I mean, the biggest part of the reason that I wanted to uh, join Love is, first of all, what a terrific organization this is. The work they do is amazing. And I, I mean, you know, I, I work in the arts, I love the arts, and I do think that I've seen the arts help people enormously um, in all kinds of different ways. And so any program that is looking to help at-risk people, young people especially, uh, by channeling their energies in, and their passions into any one of the arts I think is spectacular and should be encouraged because when people can express themselves they just become so much happier and they, um, they're, I think that they're, it, there's a centering quality to art that you can calm yourself down and you can channel your energies and your feelings and your emotions especially when you're a teenager and your feelings can be all over the place into something that is uh, productive and progressive and, and worthwhile. I think it's really cool. Tell me, what would be one of the uh, objectives that you would like to accomplish with Love? Well, what I think could be, I mean, listen, first of all, I, I'm just happy to be here furthering the already existing programs that I think are spectacular. I think that some of the stuff that could be offered now that what we could be doing is, you know, what's so great about what's happened with technology is that the uh, uh, making movies short films, making any kind of web content has become really cheap and democratic. And there's so many kids that are into the technology and that want to use it and, and do stuff with it. And I think that um, we could be, uh, you know, just pushing it further along into the digital media world of like having kids trying to make short films and kind of, you know, and doing things like that, that, that I think what's so cool about movies um, and, and, um, uh, and, well, and TV, but it just the, the kind of uh, the, the, the multidisciplinary nature of it is that it incorporates, you know, design and music and writing and acting and all kinds of different elements of the arts that can, you know, be individually done over here or you can put them all together to make one kind of amazing thing. And the other thing that's really cool about making uh, interdisciplinary kind of media stuff is that it's really hard to do it alone. You need to work in a team to do it. You need to find other people to help you and who can um, not just uh, execute your vision, but that you collaborate with and you learn from each other and you learn a lot of really important lessons. I mean, no one's ever made a movie by themselves. No one's ever worked in this field alone. Um, it's not writing a book. It's not doing a painting. You need other people and you need their talents. And when you find other people who think like you do and who want to express themselves, their, themselves the way that you do and you help each other, you can really, I think the benefits are enormous. And one of the things I love the most about what I do is getting to work with other talented people. It's exciting, um, it's inspiring, it rejuvenates you, and it encourages you to do better work, I think. Okay. So you want to bring that to the youth, basically. I would love that, yeah. I think that that's something that, that, that Love could be looking at and that we could be doing uh, in the future, which is bringing more elements of uh, not just photography or not just painting, but, you know, kind of in, in interdisciplinary media arts that I think that really appeals to young people that they're into because they can go off in all kinds of different directions. For those who don't know, here at Love we do a lot of photography and writing, but it, it would be really nice to have yeah. like that kind of cinematography and like Absolutely. having music and... I've seen it in other programs. Uh, my sister does this kind of work and, and what's so cool is that, um, especially with the younger the people are, it's like the more adept they are at using the technology. And it's amazing what they can accomplish. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's an amazing organization in Montreal called Spectrum that makes films with uh, young people who have autism, who are on the autism spectrum. And these kids make like 10, 15 movies a summer. They just work at their computers and they film things and they edit them. And it's awesome and they do great work and there's some spectacular stuff that comes out of it. But they also learn to collaborate with each other too, which is I think another amazing part of it is that you can't do it by yourself. You have to work with other people. Um, and I think that gives you enormous life skills too. 
So, une autre question qu'on a pour vous. Oui. C'est quel est l'apprentissage le plus important que vous voudriez transmettre aux jeunes? Honnêtement, vraiment, c'est de travailler avec les autres. Okay. Ça, la, la, pour moi, l'apprentissage le plus important de ma vie, c'était de comprendre c'était quoi la collaboration, de travailler avec les autres personnes, de, de, de finir un projet ensemble, qu'on a commencé ensemble. Ça, c'est difficile, puis ça, 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 ça prend du patience, puis ça prend euh, du, euh, du, le, le patient aussi. Mais ça, moi, je trouve que ça, c'est énormément, énormément important. Donc, mon question pour vous, ça serait, euh, toujours dans le thème de l'œuvre, Mmh. Euh, Est-ce que vous pensez qu'un de vos personnages que vous avez écrit ou créé ou bien interprété aurait été, comment dire, aurait pu profiter des programmes de l'œuvre? Euh, oui, certains. <rire> C'est des, des, personnages, des personnages fictifs. Pourrais, écoute, s'il si y avait l'œuvre quand moi j'étais à l'école, je, je l'aurais fait aussi. Juste parce que j'adore la photographie, j'adore l'écriture, je, 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 je voulais toujours trouver euh, une occasion pour faire plus d'art. Moi, j'adore ça. Euh, donc, je dirais que mes personnages, oui, je pense que oui, tout le monde aurait été euh, un peu euh, euh, inspiré par l'idée de, de, de travailler avec une organisation comme Love. Ouais. Mais est-ce que, par exemple, est-ce que vous pensez que la télé et le cinéma ont une grande influence sur les jeunes publics? Donc, oui. Absolument. Okay. Particulièrement la télé, je dirais, parce que ça rentre... Maintenant, c'est l'ordinateur, mais c'est à peu près la même chose, parce que c'est dans ta maison, c'est chez, chez vous, c'est chez nous. Um, alors, je pense qu'il y a quelque chose de, de très euh, frappant, puis de très immédiat avec, euh, avec les médias comme ça. Écoute, moi, je pense que, moi, je pense que la majorité des jeunes comprend que les films sont des fictions. Je pense pas que... Ils pensent que Iron Man existe dans la vie. C'est pas quelque chose qu'on euh, qu voit dans, dans, dans les rues. Et moi, je dirais que non, absolument non, le film et la télé, c'est une réflexion de la société. Ça, ça, le, le cinéma ne pousse pas la vie, la vie pousse le cinéma. On, on habite maintenant dans, un, dans une planète avec beaucoup de violence, avec euh, énormément de, de, de pauvreté. Puis de... Et puis, je pense que le cinéma, c'est une réflexion de ça. Je ne pense pas que le cinéma est, est un cause euh, mm -hmm. de, des, 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 des problèmes des jeunes. Et en fait, euh, non, je pense que pour moi... Le cinéma, particulièrement maintenant, le cinéma démocratique euh, qu'on qu peut faire sur nos iPhones, qu'on peut faire avec, avec, un, avec pas beaucoup d'argent, avec vraiment avec, avec des moyens très, très, euh, très, très euh, 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 simples, très, très bas. Je ne sais pas exactement le mot que je cherche. Mais euh, euh, je pense que c'est à nous d'encourager de, des gens de raconter leur histoire et, et d'avoir euh, un... to have a point of view, you know, and to express themselves. And they have the means to do that now. But I, I don't believe that violence in cinema causes violence among young people. Like, not for a second. Well, thank you very much. No um, uh, Jacob, I told you this before we started shooting. We have okay. a little game that we okay. want to play with you. So basically, what we're going to do, I have a list of words okay. uh, with me that are related to love. Okay. And Jacob, you're going to try to associate a movie or a TV show to these words that I I'm already scared. Okay. All right? Go ahead. <laughs> So, let's start. Okay. When you're ready. Go. Okay, so first word, passion. Uh, my left foot. Uh, youth. Lion. Famille. The Sopranos. Courage. Land and freedom. Partage. Together. Inclusion. Next. Violence. Oh, God, so many uh, funny games. Cool. So we did six. It was super good. Those are really good choices. Uh, well, we're going to start wrapping up. Uh, is there any projects that you can tell us that you're going to do or somewhere that people can follow you for? Uh, they can follow me on Twitter if they'd like. I'm on Twitter under under my own name. Um, uh, I have a TV show that will be coming out, uh, uh, launched after the Super Bowl on Creative TV called Letter Kenny. It's a comedy show. Uh, I'd love people to check that out. Um, yeah, that's that will be it. Well, thank you very much for having for being here. My pleasure. We hope to have you soon again. Maybe you try will. this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be better next time. I'll awesome. Be better next time. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next Love Capsule.